today we'll be doing uh, a little unboxing of a uh, RC hole or two. Oh, I say unboxing, uh, two boxes. Right. This one is from eBay, and the smaller one is from Hobby King. Um, do the big one first, get it out of the way. Find a knife. There we go. If I'm correct, this should be, yeah, the Proline stuff. See that? Right, let's get a box through this box. First up, we have a Proline Bulldog. I've been wanting one of these for months, well, ever since I had my trophy druggy. Um, but they've always been too dear, they've been like 50, 60 quid on eBay. This one came up, and I think it was 25 pounds with like two or three quid postage. Um, that's the one there. Right, let's focus. Let's focus. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm dying for this one. Let's just uh, open him up and have a look. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll have to do a video on uh, cutting and painting. What else we got in the bag? Uh, stickers, and a little magazine thing. Let's check that back in here. Wait. Check that out. Uh, next thing we have is Proline Bedlands. Now these are the 3.8 I think you can see that on here, I'm just going to focus. 3.8 Traxxas style bead, all terrain tyres mounted on Desperado black half inch offset 17mm for 17mm MT front and rear. So obviously we've got two. And I've got these off eBay as well. Um, the guy who bought them off assured me that they've not been used. He said they have been opened as you can see by the parking. He said, but they was never used. So, let's drag these out. Let's have a look. Nice. Very nice. Have they been used? No. You can usually see a bit of a uh, way from where you tighten them on if they've been used. Oh, on the tire. Oh, look good to me. It's really soft foams. And they dream well. Oh, I was expecting them to be bigger to be honest. They well bigger than the ones on my trophy truggy. They're rough roughly about the same size I think. Yeah. Very nice. And the same in this one. Charging balancing board. The one on my charger is not good. Uh, we have oh yeah, remember these two. Oh, you can see that. Focus, focus. 
two nanotech one cells for my quadcopter, my SEMA X5C, I think it is. Yeah, something like that. It's an excellent quadcopter if you wanted to get into flying. Excellent for beginners. Uh, yeah, we have the stainless steel dog bones for my 110 XSTR Pro. Which I will be doing a video on because I've done a bought quite a few bits for that over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we have come out. Oh yeah, the cell checker. I wrote this one to test my uh, batteries because the cell count seems to be dropping off a lot. And the last bit in here would be this Trackstar car cooling stand. I want the stand for ages but I never really bothered. I always use the box or something like that. But I'd seen this one while I was ordering the other stuff. Um, I think it was only like eight to nine pound. And uh, I thought, yeah, get it. May as well get it if I don't use it. It'll look nice for the car to sit on. So open them up. Oh, it does look nice, fit me. Red perspex with two cooling fans with LEDs in them. Look at it. So that should glow up red, I'm assuming. Um, I don't really need these fans, but you know, we'll take them off and put them on something else if we don't want them on there. So look, I think I've got a 12 volt plug here. There we go. Let's test this out. Plug that in. And let's plug that in there. Ooh, that's quite loud. Very nice too. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that gives off some wind. That's very nice. While you're out on the out on the track or out in the field or just stick out on your car battery. If you want if you was doing racing, cool your car down. Sweet as a nut that would. Like I say, if you don't want to use it, just wrap them up and just use it as a stand. Right, let's knock that off. Very nice. Like that. And for eight, nine pound, you can't go wrong. Right, let's wrap this up. Clips. The wires just clip in simply underneath. Wrap them up, or you can put a bit of tape if you're never going to use it. That is nice, I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's get the, get the old uh, trophy in here so you can have a look. Oh, fits lovely, fit me. Oh, my rear. Just won't bang these uh, bad lines on, sir. Nice. Ah, that's really meaty. I'll take these up. That's right. Yeah, that does look really meaty, I've got to be honest. Very nice on there. Oh, I got a fan, I didn't. Didn't do, uh, do an update on that. 
bought this one off eBay as well, come from Hong Kong. I think it's for a one-fifth scale. I think I had to bend it around the motor and then slide it on. It's a monster fan. Does the job. Alright. Let's move all this out of the way. Have a look. That's the other stuff. Alright, the balance board. I desperately needed one of these because the one I had was... Well, shit. Dual charge up to what? One, two, three, four, five, six batteries, eh? Nice. I think that was what was it? Six or seven pound for Moby King. Want that? These were a must because last time I took my my buggy out, my XS TR Pro, I took it down the beach. And you all know what sand and salt water does to uh, dog bones. Corrodes the shit out of them. So, it's interesting to see if these are real stainless steel. Uh, what else we got? Batteries. Like I said before, I, I've got, I, I haven't done a video yet of my quadcopter. But it's a, it is an excellent uh, quad for beginners. The only problem with it is, as soon as you start flying that quad, you're going to want more expensive stuff, and you're going to want the FPVs. Ah, uh, what do I do? Mm, I think that's it. Oh, I want to test one of my batteries. To uh, see. Oh, I'm going down there. Never mind. Cell checker. Right. Um, that's about it, folks. Peace.